English for teachers. Part five: Listening skills for teachers. Seeds of knowledge planted today blossom into the achievements of tomorrow. Embrace the challenges, relish the victories, and let your education be the fertile soil for a garden of endless opportunities. Easy and slow listening. One, Bangladesh rice. The village of Rupshi is thirty kilometers east of Dhaka, the capital of Bangladesh. Abdul Muttalib is a forty-five-year-old farmer. He rents his field from a landlord. He produces half a ton of rice from one very small field. The land is only one tenth of a hectare. It is a good harvest. Abdul says he will sell the rice for three thousand taka. This is about fifty dollars, but the rent is high, and the cost of chemicals to make the land fertile is also high. Abdul's profit will be only eight dollars. This is all he will get for six months of hard work on the land. There are many farmers like Abdul who cannot earn enough money. Bangladesh has enough rice to feed its growing population. Harvests are much better than they used to be in the 1970s, but there are still millions of people in the country who do not get enough to eat. Today's spotlight program asks. Why farmers are hungry in a land that is not short of food. The owner of the rice store is in the village of Rupshi is Harun Rashid. He says most of the local people have given up rice farming. They have gone in search of better paid jobs. They will work nearer to the capital city, where the pay is higher. The sad thing is this: it is poor farmers. Like Abdul, who have turned a serious lack of food in Bangladesh into a star plus, they have experimented with new kinds of rice plant. The new plants produce more rice. Also, they have improved their land. There are more fields than ever before with a good water supply. There is enough rice in Bangladesh to feed the people, but 30 million Bangladeshis. Still go hungry. The United Nations World Food Program says that these people survive on about 1,800 calories a day. This is well below the 2,300 calories of food energy that a healthy body needs. The government and people of Bangladesh have been working on a new policy to help the poor. It is called a Poverty Reduction Strategy Paper. Or PRSP, a poverty reduction strategy is the new way for poor countries to get aid from the West. Nearly 40 of the poorest countries in the world have written such documents. They are designed so that the governments of the poor countries have clear ideas on how to help their people. The documents are agreed with bodies such as the World Bank and the IMF. This allows aid money to flow from rich countries to poor ones, and this also makes it possible for rich countries to cancel the debts of poor countries. The Bangladesh document was written carefully. Many people gave their opinions. The document says that it does not matter how good the rice harvest becomes in the next ten years, rice alone will not lift the country out of poverty. There is not enough profit in rice growing to make people wealthy. The cost of chemicals to make the rice fields more fertile is rising. The cost of chemicals to kill insects is also rising. The strategy document says. The poor farmers of Bangladesh should try to grow different crops. The farmers can make more money 
with different crops. This is a big change from the policy of the past 30 years. The government of Bangladesh used to say to farmers, grow rice, grow some more. Now it is saying, grow other things, grow things that will sell for a higher price. Farmers are starting to understand this message. Some of them are already acting on it. Alamgir Mohiuddin works for United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. He has traveled a lot in Bangladesh recently. He is well pleased with what he has seen. In the last four years, the picture has completely changed. We found even the poorest farmers are growing vegetables and other crops, such as the spices that give a nice taste to meat. Instead of just growing rice for their own needs, farmers have made the move to other crops. They spread the risks they take. In this way, they can make a good living. The government has started to help farmers change to other crops. The government supplies seeds, technology and loans. The Ministry of Agriculture advises farmers like this. They say that farmers should grow other crops on land they cannot use for rice in the dry season. They can grow vegetables and spices. The farmers can also use their land to keep birds for meat, birds such as the chicken. But some exports are concerned about the change to crops, other than rice. They believe that farmers will forget that rice is still the most important crop of all. It is still the main part of the diet in Bangladesh. The ministry has warned that it does not want farmers to cut back on rice production. In fact, the Bangladesh Rice Research Institute says there is still much to be gained from improved kinds of rice. The BRRI developed the rice plants that have so greatly increased food supplies in recent years. Mohil Hawk from the Institute warns that the move towards planting vegetables and spices should not go too far. He says, Poor people should not concern themselves about the taste of their food, making meals such as curry. They can eat rice with simple things added on to improve the taste. I mean things such as salt, chili or onion. I think we should keep trying to improve rice quality. This will do more to supply what is missing in the diets of poor people. You would expect to hear this from a man who has devoted his life to making better kinds of rice. But other exports support his opinion. M. M. Akash is an economist at Dhaka University. He also thinks the policy markers should be careful. He says the government should make sure there is a 3% increase each year in rice production. Yes, we have to go for other kinds of crops. The point is, we must not do this if it means a fall in rice production. I agree that we cannot live by eating only rice, but we should avoid either of the two extremes.